Hello and welcome to Straight to Coding. Today we are going to talk about async stream. We are going to use we are going to see the benefits of I async enumerable with the yield operator. I async enumerable with the yield operator it provides us a way to iterate over an I enumerable, enumerable collection asynchronously whilst using the yield operator to return data as they come in, okay? Let's consider an example, a scenario where we need to retrieve pages of data from a database or even from an API endpoint. Okay, we want what we want to do is we want to receive each part of the data as soon as it arrives or it comes in, and then we process it rather than waiting for the complete data to be available. Okay, at the same time, we don't want to be blocking the CPU or the thread whilst we wait for the chunk of data to come in okay so this is where the benefit of iasync enumerable can help okay so I have here a, a class called movie collection service and what I'm doing in there is I'm going to retrieve a bunch of shows from the movie database the TMDB I think it's an open source and it's very popular okay so I'm going to show you three approaches the first approach is to use the task I enumerable uh, generic method okay and the 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 issue with this one is this is not obviously we know that this is not going to be um, a thread broken because it's an async okay but the issue this approach is very inefficient especially with large data sets because we are going to wait for the entire data to be available before we can process each one of them okay so let's go in there and explain show you how we've managed to implement this we have here we have a do while um, approach and we are going to call this endpoint and retrieve data page by page okay and what I have here is one second delay I'm here I'm going to simulate a one second delay to let's say assuming that it takes one second to retrieve data we're going to simulate it here and then we will add the data to a collection and then in the end we're going to return the collection well this approach we have to wait for every data to be available before we can process the data one by one here. The second approach is to use an I enumerable gen generic um, synchronous method. Well, with this approach, we can simulate um, processing of the data one by one. Obviously, it's a synchronous approach, and even if data fetch is is in async we still don't get advantage of fetching data asynchronously okay so this is not a good approach as well and because it's not going to scale let me show you how this works in details okay here what we are going to do is similar to the one I showed you earlier we are going to simulate one second delay every time we, we make a call to the endpoint to retrieve data we are going to also going to retrieve 10 pages as well okay but the advantage over this advantage of this over the previous one is that we can yield each data as it comes in one by one from the endpoint or in your case it could be a database okay we can res we can build each result one by one and then process the data as it comes in but this approach is a synchronous approach okay so that means that even if the method you're calling is asynchronous it's still going to behave as a synchronous approach and obviously this is not what we want okay so the third approach that I have here is the use of I asynchronous I async enumerable okay with the yield okay basically it seems like a combination of this and the other one okay so here we are going to call the endpoint again the same approach and we are going to simulate also one second and then the results we're going to yield the result one by one and then you see the great benefits that this comes with um, with this approach and this is what we call the async streaming okay async so I have here a simple console application and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call um, I have three for each approaches I'm going to call the first one with the task uh, enumerable generic method and we see how it works and we're going to call this one and we will see how it works and then we finally we will call the I async with the yield operator and see how it works what I'm doing is the processing of each um, data I'm just going to log it and then show you the timing as well it's, it's fantastic okay so here we're going to start with the 
task i enumerable which is very inefficient we're going to wait for 10 seconds for the entire data to be available before we can we can um, process it once we are done we will show you how this also works okay so let's go here what we are doing is we are waiting for 10 seconds for the entire data to be available and once it's available we are going to process them completely we are going to process the everything so if you see here for the same seconds the same time we receive the entire data but we had to wait for the data to be available now let's have a look at how we use the i enumerable method here the generic one here we will be we will be able to iterate through uh, the data one by one as it comes in using the yield approach um, but don't forget that this is a synchronous approach and this is not what we want but let's have a look at the data as it comes in okay see here every single one as soon as we receive it we, we we process it as soon as we receive it we process it as soon as we receive it we process it but this is as, as I said earlier it's a synchronous approach but what we really want is the I enumerable I async enumerable with the yield this is asynchronously okay so we are not blocking any any thread okay and we are going to also process it as it comes in one by one okay so let's now start again okay here is behaving exactly as the I enumerable approach but this time it's a asynchronous uh, process so we are also processing data one by one as it comes in look at the timing here here every second we receive data and then we process it uh, but this one here don't forget is is a synchronous approach but the final part here the I is I enumerable with the yield is an asynchronous approach and this time you are also able to process data as it comes in so this second we process this data the next second we process this data and the next one so we are processing it as they come in one by one but if you look at the um, task I enumerable approach we just have to wait for 10 seconds look before we process the entire data so assuming that we have a huge bunch of data then this approach is definitely not the right one because we cannot wait for millions of records from a database or millions of data coming from an endpoint before we process it okay and this approach using the I enumerable again is is good but it's a synchronous approach so that means there's thread blocking going on there CPU delays and stuff like that we cannot be using this synchronous approach to deal with it okay so the best way to go about it is to use the I enumerable with the yield okay here there's no blocking here and you get the benefits of processing the data one by one so imagine that we are we are making calls to a data boy a database where we are retrieving thousands of records or millions of records at least what we can do is we can process them one by one as they come in and we are not blocking the thread or the CPU okay so here it becomes exactly as we wanted asynchronously okay this is a fantastic approach and you guys should have a look at it I have a I, have, I will push the data to an endpoint where you can retrieve and clone this project and then attempt to see how it works okay thank you very much for um, watching this video don't forget to subscribe